The name mascot comes from the south of France and it was also the name of an opera uh, that was called The Mascot. And uh, at that time in the 19th century there was a, a small jewel made uh, after this opera and it was called The Mascot. And also it gives good fortune to people. Uh, it was also very common to have a mascot uh, in the United States for sports clubs and even in schools. And so it was quite normal that suddenly a mascot appears in the Olympic Games. The first official mascot appeared in 1972 for the Munich Games. It was a uh, dash hound. This is uh, an example of this mascot. His name is Waldi. And uh, it was chosen because this kind of dog was rather popular in Germany at that time. It was full of energy and uh, it was considered as bringing good fortune to the athletes and to the games at that time. It's a way really to communicate the games, to communicate to people that the games are going to, to take place soon. And uh, it also gives the spirit of the, the specific edition of the game because of the colors of the mascot, because of the name of the mascot. So it really refers to uh, the look of the games, the identity again of the, uh, of the edition of the games. The games are not only the competitions, but it's also the, the moment for creators, for designers, for architects to propose new things. And uh, the mascots belong to this process and the designers who are in charge of this project uh, have the possibility to, to bring new ideas and uh, to bring a, a new touch to the games as well. The first edition since uh, 1972, we can find some animals. Uh, there is a, a beaver for, uh, for Montreal in 1976. Uh, there is Misha the bear for uh, Moscow. Uh, there is Sam the eagle for uh, Los Angeles in 1984. In uh, 1988, there is Odori the tiger. Finally, there is Kobe, and it, it, it breaks the rule really with Kobe because uh, it really comes from the, the fantasy of the designer. Kobe was a little dog uh, that was created by Javier Mariscal, a famous designer. And uh, Kobe is, um, is completely different from uh, the, the previous mascots. It does not belong to the Walt Disney world. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a dog, but uh, it's a sort of avant-garde design. This mascot was not well received when uh, people uh, saw it for the first time, but uh, gradually it became famous and famous. It was represented everywhere, practicing different sports, and it's certainly one of the most famous mascots in the history of the Olympic Games. With EZ in Atlanta, it's something completely different. People didn't know who was this mascot. Uh, it was impossible to make a comparison with an animal. Uh, it was something completely strange. And it's just a little bit the same with Wenlock. The design's very strange as well. It refers also to the Stadium of London, the material that was used for the, the, the stadium. But uh, the, the, the look is very original. So it brings um, the games to the 21st century. Brazil is very well known for a variety of its cultures. It blends various different origins, uh, different cultures, so we can imagine that maybe the mascot will be a good example of this uh, diversity. Otherwise, I don't know, uh, Sabia is, the, uh, is uh, a bird that, is, uh, that represents Brazil, so maybe it can be uh, a possibility. So we are all very curious to know the result.